This is Calculator Question 21 from the May 2019 SAT. College Board gives us an angle in degrees and asks us to convert that angle to radians. If you recall, 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees. The formula sheet at the start of each SAT math section tells you this. So we can multiply 90 degrees by 2 pi radians over 360 degrees. The degrees cancel and I'm left with 90 times 2 is 180 times pi over 360 in radians. And your calculator will help you if you need it. 180 over 360 is 1 over 2. So that is pi over 2, which is choice C. Alternatively, you can write this as a ratio. 2 pi, we want to go to, then we want to go to radians. So 2 pi radians over 360 degrees equals x radians over 90 degrees. And I like setting up the ratios like this, complete with units, so I know I haven't flipped one of them. So I have radians over degrees equals radians over degrees. That's how we set up a proportion. And now I can ignore the units, 2 pi over 360 equals x over 90. And I'm trying to solve for x, the number of radians. So multiply both sides by 90. 90 over 90 is 1, so I'm left with x equals 90 times 2 pi over 360, which is the same thing I had over here. It's just a different way of looking at the same process. College Board often asks you to convert units, including degrees to radians or radians to degrees, so make sure you're comfortable with this process. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.